All right, hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. Today we are going to be canning carrots through the water bath. It's actually a really simple process, and I'm just gonna walk with you in this, the different ways that you can do it. Uh, right now, I have my jars in a stock pot with hot water to sterilize them. And the thing with that is that, you know, there's some people who would argue that you must, if you're gonna do um, a method like this, that you must sterilize your jars. But to me, I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video. I'm fine with taking my jars and just washing them in super, super hot water and rinsing them really well. Um, just because I feel like in a two hour water bath or a three hour water bath, they're going to be sterilized anyway. So to sterilize them ahead of time for me is a little bit of redundant, but some people need that and they want that and that is completely fine. So for the purpose of this video, I have all my jars um, in the water bath uh, sterilizing right now. All right, so I have my carrots here, okay? And if I'm actually going to peel the first you know, layer off of all my carrots. Now, you don't have to do that. However, I, I recommend it. <laughs> um, if you're not gonna do it, then scrub all your carrots. Scrub them very, very, very well. It's kind of like when we did the water bathing for the potatoes. If you weren't going to peel the potatoes, then you want to scrub the skins incredibly well. But just because I'm gonna just peel them all and then cut them and we'll we'll just go from there. All right, so again, I'm going to just peel this top little layer off of my carrots. Don't mind if you hear the kids. Put that there. Then I'm just gonna cut the ends off. And here's the thing, when I cut my carrots, I don't like them to be bigger than something like this. Like this is fine, that's fine. But once we start getting to the larger end of the carrot, I do start to split them in half. It's just a preference thing. Yeah, like any bigger than this, whoopsies. Once I get to the end, I don't want them so bulky, so I will half them. But some people will dice them like this. If you follow me on YouTube, you'll know that I, you know, have learned from the Amish and Susie, my dearest friend, this is how she cuts her carrots. She dices them. But for me, I'm fine and taking the bigger pieces and just kind of putting them in half. I've got quite the amount of carrots to go through and I'm gonna do all of that and then we will start doing the next step. Just as a precaution, if I see something like this in my carrot slice, I don't put it in to can it. I just don't. It's the same thing with potatoes. I take out any spots that look like that uh, just for extra safety precautions. So if you have something like this, don't can it. So we're still working on cutting up all of the carrots here. My lovely husband is helping me out. Uh, this is what we have so far, 10 pounds of carrots, okay? And right now, when I'm this close to getting done, I'm gonna put a kettle of water on top of the stove and bring that up to a boil. Okay, so everything's cut up and we're starting to 
fill in our jars here. And what I like to do is take my jar, put the carrots in and give it a good shake. I wanna make sure that I have no really big gaps in here. Oops. I don't want, um, if I do see gaps, I'll try to push the carrots down in there more because as you start to cook your carrots, there's gonna be a certain amount of shrinkage and I don't want the flotation in my jars. So yes, I really try to pack in my carrots as much as possible, leaving about a half an inch of head space. So you just kinda of wanna keep doing that, feeling around, making sure that it's nice and full, no open areas, nice and packed in. And even still, when I take my jars, anytime I can fit in a carrot, that's what I'm gonna do. In there. Every spot counts. So right now we have all of our jars filled with carrots and I'm just starting to add the pink Himalayan salt. And I'm going to be adding a half a teaspoon of that type of salt. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of vinegar to each pint. And now I'm just going to take my hot water and start adding it to my carrots. Make sure you debubble. And sometimes after you debubble, you have to add a little bit more water, and that's fine. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is wipe our rims. I'm just using vinegar for mine. You can just use regular water if you want to, nice hot water. But I am just wiping our rims. And of course you guys know that I always like a really good seal. You want one that's not gonna fail. For jars, canning lids won't do that to you. At least it's never happened with me. I haven't had any fail issues. They guarantee every seal. So I do have a promo code. I'll put that on here if you want to use it. If not, no worries. But that's what I'm using today. Put our lids on. Oops, I have a wide mouth lid here. And you don't see it here that I have 13 pints because I put some carrots aside here for salads for later. But overall, 10 pounds gives us, thir it averaged about 13 pints. So if you wanna know that, oops, double lid there. Now we are going to add our rings to fingertip tight. So now our jars, our jars are ready to go into the water bath canner. Remember we have hot water in here, so we wanna make sure that the water in the canner is around the same temperature as our jars, so that way that they don't crack. The processing time is going to be for two hours, and that is going to be for pints and for quarts. And the reason why we are processing for two hours is because we added uh, vinegar. If you decide not to add any vinegar, then the processing time for pints and quarts is going to be three hours, okay? But I'm not a fan of doing a three hour water bath. So we're just gonna, we added the vinegar and we're gonna stick to a two hour water bath.
Now we have about two inches of water that's covering our jars right now and I placed the heat on high and I'm gonna put my lid to cover it. Obviously, the water is going to reduce and when that happens, I just like to keep, I don't know where my kettle is, but I like to keep a kettle close by and heat that up as I start to see the levels of water going down. So that's what we're gonna do is just keep topping it off. I can imagine I would only do it maybe two or three times, but it should be fine. You wanna start your timing once again at a complete rolling boil, okay? Not a simmer, not a chatter, a rolling boil. So let's uh, get this going and I'll show you the next step. So we are about 15 minutes away from our two hour processing time and believe it or not, um, I haven't had a lot of evaporation with my water, but for the purposes of this video, I will show you how to top it off. Alrighty here. I have my kettle with super hot water and what I'm gonna do is just add the water to the water bath. Now if it brings down the boil for just like a minute, don't worry about it, it'll bring it right back up as long as it's super, super hot water. And that's how you top off a water bath. We finished our two hour processing time. And normally, I mean, this is any time I can anything. I don't like to take my jars out immediately. I do like to let them sit for like 15, 20 minutes. And that's what we've done here. So I'm just gonna start taking them out. They're looking really good. As you can see, we pack them in really well, so we do not have a whole lot of shrinkage here, if any. Maybe some of these jars a little bit. We have just a little bit here. That's why I say to pack them in. All right, friends, that is how you water bath carrots. Again, I'm going to tell you as always that this method is a non-USDA approved method. According to the USDA, you were supposed to pressure can low acid foods. Uh, with that said, I always want to tell you no matter what, um, make sure that you do your own research. I always say that. And there is a release and waiver disclaimer in the description below if you want to take a look at that. As always, guys, take care and God bless.